Hello everybody, Dimebot here. We are on the Smite public test server taking a look at the new Chinese Hunter Ho Yi. Let's go ahead and get some items bought here. Take a look at him. This Hunter has an interesting kit. Let's start with his passive. After taking a critical hit, Ho Yi can't be critically hit again for three seconds. Now, the linchpin of his kit is his two, Mark of the Golden Crow. So, when he hits an enemy with Mark of the Golden Crow, they take extra damage for every 10% of their missing health from Ho Yi's abilities and basic attacks. At rank 3, they're visible to him on the minimap, including stealth gods such as Loki. And at rank 5, he gets 15% penetration on those enemies. And it lasts for 15 seconds. You can see the mark right there. I'm not going to be able to finish Thor, though. So let's get back into the fight here and talk about his one. So his one is a charge shot. It does count as a basic. And it will ricochet if it hits a wall. It can bounce up to two times, and each time it does, it gains 50% damage up to twice. Now, what makes his two the really important part of his kit is the fact that it applies different effects. So with his one, normally it'll just ricochet. However... If the enemy is marked, it will stun them when it hits. So you always want to be attacking enemies with your mark. With his three, which you saw, where he glides into the air like this, and then you can slam down. If they are marked, it applies a knockback. There's the stun on Thor. So you can see the mark above his head right there. So notice that he's taking extra damage, and I should be able to catch him and kill him right here with the three. Oh, minions. And on his ultimate, the Sunbreaker, we'll get to that in a minute, but what it does is it is an AoE area, like such, he fires nine suns, and they come crashing down. If he has an enemy marked, then they will be slowed. And the slow is 20% for every 0.25 seconds on every hit, so it's a nasty ability. So leveling priority with him is going to be his 2 to go ahead and get that damage increase, because it starts at 1 and goes up to 10. So you want to go ahead and make sure you get that working as quickly as possible. So I haven't worked at a great build for him yet. We're just going to go with a standard hunter build for right now, get some crit. The fact that he can't be crit for three seconds after he takes a crit is a nice little passive. Get the stun on Neath. And use his three as an escape. As you can see, the three has a decent range. It's not going to carry you through walls, though. We'll go ahead and level up his one. So the three get a second and a half of travel time, and you get scaling damage on it. It's not great. We'll go ahead and go with some lifesteal here. I will go cooldown from him. Uh, for him so that I can get the ult out more often. Let's see if we can ricochet. You see that indicator right there for it. Uh, it does travel a little slower than a normal shot, so you have to lead with it. But in a lane, as opposed to the open arena, it will cause some definite damage. There's a dead Thor. See if we can hit the mirror with it. Yep, see the ricochet there. I should have had him marked, but I didn't. I totally flubbed the knockback there. We've got our ult up. So, he's a. I'm not going to call him a standard hunter because his kit is rather unique, but he is very much a hunter. He's a lot of fun to play, and he's got some pretty good damage potential. Let's see if we can mark raw and then slow him here. You see that. There we go. Got it. So you're going to see some interesting shots with him as people begin to really figure out how to play him. You're welcome for the body block art. Oh, nope, Amir's coming. Go ahead and back over here a little more. Oh, Amir! What? Seriously? I forgot the AI is suicidal in Arena now. Alright, let's get Dev finished. Uh, you're going to see a lot of interesting shots with him because it 
does benefit you to go ahead and ricochet that shot. See the knockback there and the extra damage from the mark. So you can really use him to focus down the target. The thing is, though, it is a lot of single target focus. How did I know you were going to do that, Thor? And this will be a dead Thor. Get out of here before Neath can get too much damage on me. Uh, I've gotten some interesting shots with him. Uh, I haven't gotten any double ricochets because there's really not an avenue to do it here in the uh, arena. Uh, let's go for Jotun's next. Level up his one. I'm thinking my leveling parties are going to be the one and the two. Throwing points into the ult when I can. don't want to waste that ult on Amir, but if I can catch Thor, why the hell not? Just not quite got the damage yet to finish him. He should be a good matchup, especially against Loki or Serket. If you can mark them at max rank, he'll be able to see them, which will really help, especially with Serket hiding in the jungle. There we go, that extra damage from the abilities and the mark. So the key thing with him that I've discovered through playing a couple matches is you always want to be aware of the cooldown on your mark and making sure that you have targets marked really help you take down tanks such as Ymir here. And get out. His escape is not that great. The three is useful, but not as handy as some things like Neath's backflip or... Uh, but you see that 153 and then the extra bonus damage. Right, and let's go ahead and get Jotun's and we've got enough left to start in on Deathbringer. Ultimate is ready. Ultimate is ready. What's the use of having a palace on the sun if no one can visit? <laughs> Trying for a ricochet kill there. Didn't quite get it. Off me. Let's see what we can do with this ult. that that's a little finicky with the aiming. I think it can use a little little cleaning up in terms of how it works. It's kind of like Rom's eight-way roll where it snaps, but it's definitely effective. So I can't believe my uh, AI partners have died three times to the computer. That's just, that's just sad. There is the ricochet stun with the extra damage. Not going to be able to finish him. There's too many other people in the way. You can do some really dumb stuff with that, uh... With that three as well. Bye, Ra. By me. And goodbye, Thor. She could really get in and out of fights quick with him. Granted, I am fighting the AI, and they are dumb as a box of rocks, but some of these same tricks he will be able to pull off quite well in regular multiplayer. Using that stun in a team fight. Like I said, everything works off the mark. It is the most important skill in his kit so far that I feel, and learning how to manage it is really going to be key. I don't want to go for rage quite yet. I'd rather go for DB. So we'll hang on to some of that gold here for just a minute. That looks like Thor should be going down. 
and I don't feel uh, as hesitant about taking on tanks with him like I used to with uh, some other hunters. In an early game, you can really handle somebody like Amir a little better if our Sobek would stop throwing him to safety. See if we can get some knockback. Nope, that's fine. <laughs> Guan walked right into that, really. Those crits. So yeah, I find him to be an awful lot of fun. Nope, 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 nope. Beats. I should be able to use my three to escape here in just a second. So let's take a look at the scaling. So we're up to 147 every point five seconds on that ult. So just massive amounts of damage raining down. It's about to get a lot worse for them. With that being up, we're going to go for... Um, we'll go for Ken's because I've just decided I don't really feel like worrying about anything else. And the whole team caught in the ult. Pretty much. And I should be able to catch Amir. I don't know if she'll be able to or not. There we go. To see the extra mobility that that three provides. It's a little wonky looking, I will say that. But it's definitely a useful move. Let's go ahead and back. Almost enough for Aussie. We'll be able to get it here shortly. I don't know if we'll be able to use it too much before the match ends, but I am full stacked, which is giving me a nice amount of physical damage on him. Uh, I have to experiment with different build ideas for him and see really what I can come up with, but... Like I said, he really is unique and kind of fun so far. I like what hi is doing with the new gods. Come here, you dick! You have slain an enemy. So, standard hunter right there, just burning them down with my auto attacks. That's a dead one. And this will be a dead knee. There's the Quadra. Time to get out, though. It's going to have good wave clear with that one as well. You see, I remarked Amir right there. Going for the knockback. Sobek is throwing him in the complete wrong direction. Get the stun off. And Art with the cleanup. Alt is ready, so we'll go ahead and just rain some pain down on Neath and Thor. That ult is probably going to be one of the most devastating parts of his kit once you get it fully leveled up. You can see Ra taking massive damage from the mark there. Not going to be able to catch Guan unless Sobek pulls off a clutch grab. But we should be able to burn Thor with no problems. Dead Thor. Time for me to get the hell out of dodge. So, I've said it several times, and not to belabor the obvious, but if you've noticed the play, the mark is the absolute key to everything I'm doing with him. I'll go with that, and by rage, ult is almost ready. So, 
So if you have any suggestions for builds, any ideas, your own opinions on him, feel free to leave them in the comment section below and let me know. I really think this is going to be an interesting new hunter. And that's it for Hu Yi. So let's take a look at his victory screen here. Ah, juggling arrows. Eight doubles, two triples, one quadra. 23. Take a look at the player damage. 39,000 player damage. Granted, this will not happen in a normal match. These were bots, but... Yeah. 34, 0, and 13, rather. Absolutely a fun character to play. Really, really looking forward to getting my hands on him when he moves off the PTS. So, guys, if you want to see more, hit subscribe to follow the channel. You can follow me on Facebook and Twitter. My name is Dampot. Later.